What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, back from vacation. A few of you folks had asked me, hey, Chris, what's going on? Haven't seen any photos. But yeah, I mean, if you haven't watched the live feed, uh, not this Friday, of course, but prior Friday to that, uh, I did say that it'd be on vacation for a week. And I thank every one of you guys who are concerned and asked me what was up and what was going on. Am I okay? So I do appreciate that. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to jump right into a photo from China Zhurong Rover. Now, one of you guys had emailed me and said, hey, you got to check this latest stuff out. It's on Twitter. And of course I did. All right, let's just jump right into this. I'm going to show you where you can get the photo, and then we're going to analyze this. I'm going to show you how easy it is to find this stuff, or at least the lines that they're hiding in this photo. Let's just jump right in. All right, here's the page here on Twitter. You can click on this top left photo, and you can see right here, it says new photos from Mars while collecting environmental and geological data. Zhurong Mars rover has reached the parachute and back shield which you can see here in the background, 350 meters south of the landing spot. Now, again, folks, they give you this illusion that it's actually flat land. Is it actually flat? No. If you look in the back here, and it's going to be hard to see it in this photo because we're actually zoomed out and it's hard to see, but you can see squares, other shapes. Some of them are actually sticking up off the ground, and you can see other shapes in the background. Okay, let's just jump right into Photoshop, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the photo right here. You can see different shapes. You can see what looks like this piece here doing this. Coming straight down. There's other lines coming down here as well. But what you'll find is a whole bunch of these things on the side of each other. Let me show you how easy this is. Okay, here's a raw photo. This is just one technique to get to it. We're just going to do the brightness contrast three times. Watch this. Twice. And we'll do it one more time for good measure. Right there. Then we're going to go to saturation. Bring that way back down. Okay. And then we'll bring up the exposure a little bit. Now, this is not going to bring it all out. you got to be able to do the work and bring this stuff out. But you can find quite a bit of stuff here. Now, you can start to see items here. Notice now, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, right here, you start to see pieces right here. That's just starting to bring the lines out. But there's other pieces here. When this is finished, folks, you're going to go, wow, that is just wild. Other pieces just barely peeking out right now. So what you're going to do now is you're going to start using the burn tool. Okay. Now, I can just sit there and just do this. I'm not going to add any lines. I'm just going to go ahead and go over this thing and see if there's anything to bring out. But notice objects are starting to pop. Okay. Now, a moment ago... These things were nowhere to be found. I couldn't find any of these in here, right here. Now, I'm just doing this quickly just to give you guys an idea how to just get started to find some of the stuff in here. But clearly, you can see this is not flat. Look at this one here that just come out here in the far left. So now we can do this. Come in a little bit. Look at the shapes now starting to come out of here, okay? This is far from this flat land here. You can see that. I'm not adding the lines. I'm simply bringing out the darker areas. That's all we're doing here, folks. Then once you bring out these lines, then what you try to do is anything that's lighter signature, you then use the dodge tool on to bring out. Again, anything that's lighter, a lot lighter, will pop out, and you'll start to see these things more and more. Now, again, there's much, much more in this photo, guys. I'm just doing this real quick just to aid you guys in bringing this stuff out, right? I barely even scratched the surface by doing what I just did. So let's just back out a little bit. You can see that. And that's just very few things, guys. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? Now, as I go along, again here, there's, I can see two of these. You can see the lines going like this, coming back down. Other items sitting on the side of each other. When you see this, it looks like they're all in a row, just like structures. Right here, here's that other object I just brought out. Almost looks like a roll of newspaper. You can see that. It's got like this weird 
oval end to it, doing this, coming down just a little bit, going like this. If you look at it, you can see exactly what I'm talking about right here. This area here, you can see the squares if you look carefully. Other pieces doing this, 90 degree angles. So let's just keep going. You can see how this stuff is starting to come out all in here. Here's a weird thing I just told you about, that weird tube thing, doing this, coming down like a little bit like this here. And there's other pieces coming down. Now, you can see the lighter pieces here and many other pieces like right here, all lighter than the brown area you see here and here. The reason why you use the dodge tool is because you want to bring out anything that's a lighter color, just bring it out even more, just enhance it, right? So as we go on, now you're starting to see these things. Let's back out. Start to see that. Okay. Go along. Again, folks, here is that area we just enhanced right here. I was starting to do this here. This piece here. This piece turned out to be, this one here, part of what looks like this top piece or structure, whatever that thing may be. Now let's do a full enhancement. Try to bring out all the darker areas as well as the lighter areas and see if we can make heads or tails of this, folks. I'm going to go from left to right. Of course, here's our, our shield right here. You can see it right here. It looks like an end of a bullet. There's other pieces lying here. Now, I'm not sure if this thing superimposes. You can see the, like this weirdness around this because you can see like this blurring right here. Okay. I'm wondering if that's even superimposed because... It just happened to drop on top of these other, whatever these things are. To me, they look like tiny structures all laid across the Martian surface. Again, going from left to right. Some people will say, how, well, how come these are not crystal clear, man? They should be clear. No, they weren't supposed to be seen to begin with. And here's what I want to add about some of these lines, like this one right here. This area right here is actually part of a blur that was overlaid over here. But if you look closely, you can see something else. It looks like a rectangular piece. But there was actually a blur dropped in that area. And I can see it right here. Okay. Keep going. We are not going to see everything crystal clear here. But... We can see things, bring out just enough of it to see, one, this ground is not level, nor flat. This area here also may be blurring. Let's take a look. If we look into this right here, I can see the shape of that right here. One like this. There may be multiple things here. Because you can see some of the blurring here. And you want to try to bring that out. But you can see some of the stuff that's in here. There is stuff all over the ground here. And I can tell you right now, it is also down here as well. In other words, there's much more stuff here laying on the ground. Even in the foreground. Okay. Right here, you can just see just a few more lines and squares right here. You can see that. Okay. We'll sharpen it up a little bit, even though it makes it look a little more grainy. Start from right to left this time. I want to also show you this piece here. Notice how it does this. And it has what looks like this ribbon or some kind of weird steel piece doing this. Coming out of this hole. Keep going a little bit here. Now, folks, you know, just pause this anywhere you want. If you want a better look.
Just a little pieces in here. Something tells me this shield could have been superimposed. There's no way to prove that whether it was or wasn't. What I can see though is right here. I can see some blurring there. And you can also see this area here. If you look closely, just it looks like a little bit of clarity. And then the rest of this has been kind of messed with. It's almost like something was also near this or in front of it. And they needed to blotch it out. Okay, right here. These things could be plant for all we know right in front of us. We don't know. Just pure speculation here, folks. Some real interesting stuff here. Something right there. This white piece right here. We can also black and white this and have another look. There you go. And there you go, folks. Folks, I said this before. I don't believe they're there to look for past life, meaning microbial. I think they already know there was not only microbial, macro, and actually a living civilization. And they're on this planet to scope out anything that they want to. Keep in mind, the space treaty says nobody can own a planet. So what does that mean? Let's say we're all different countries. I can go in there and stake a piece of that area of Mars, meaning I'm going to explore this. You guys go ahead and do what you want. But we cannot own it. So that means it's a free-for-all. Everybody can go up there and have a look if they have the capabilities of going to Mars, right? So it's a recon mission. They're there to find out what it is, get all the information they can possibly get off it before they actually get human beings there. Now, we've already been there since uh, 1976 with the lander. And then, of course, we went to Rovers 97. In 2004, we had our Spirit Rover and Opportunity. And, of course, in 2012, we had Curiosity. And now we have 2020 Rover. We have Perseverance. So they're not there just to look at simple stones and rocks and dirt. They already know what was there. Maybe they're still trying to find microbial life to see if there's actually just regular microbial life there. But I think they know the answers. It's kind of like when they went to the moon, right? You're only going there for dust and rocks, right? Okay, that's it. So why do you need six Apollo missions? And I think we all know they kept going. Well, isn't it the same thing with Mars? It's like they're trying to put all the pieces together as to what happened to Mars. And if there's anything still alive after the fact. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And let me know what you see. Don't forget to share the video. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. The drop-down box will come down. Just tick all. And you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.